A young driver, the victim of a hit and run accident in Portsmouth, a collision that threatened to take his vision. It was pretty serious. Reporter K Margaret Cavanaugh joins us now live with this story. Pick up the story from here, Margaret. Yes, well, this young man's only been driving for six months. He plays football, and his father tells me that he's so glad that his son is alive and grateful to a good Samaritan that came to his rescue. It was real bad. Then with his blood just leaking, I thought, couldn't see it all. A hit and run accident just before midnight on September 17th. 17 year old Jerron Ratliff says he had a green light, put his foot on the gas of his Ford Fiesta, a car his grandmother gave him for his birthday. It felt like someone heavy just ran into me, like everything just happened so fast. It happened on the 1700 block of Frederick Boulevard near Turnpike Road in Portsmouth. One of my biggest fears was something happened to him and I'd, I'd not be there to protect him. But another man, Glenn Perry, walking down the street, was able to stop and help him. I still held his hand. I still stayed beside him until he got into the ambulance. I wouldn't want somebody to leave my side in that situation. They say the other driver took off. Glenn helped the teen out of the car that was leaking a lot of gas after his face smashed against the steering wheel. I couldn't see out my right eye. Everything was bleeding. Suddenly, his vision in one eye was gone. His immediate thought, football. And I could hear the fear in his voice. That's all he said. He was like, Dad, I just got hit. A uh, guy just ran a red light and hit me, and I can't see out my eye. I'm, I'm going to probably never be able to play football again. He's a senior here at IC Norcom High School. He plays defensive back and receiver, getting looked at to play in college. We had a game coming up. So that was the first thing I was thinking about we was gonna, if I was going to be able to play and my college and like if it was going to affect me long term. Jerron and his dad are extremely grateful to Glenn. Because you never know what would have happened if I would have stayed in the car. Like if I would have set anything off being in there. So him helping me get out, laying on the floor, I appreciate him for that a lot. In that accident right there, God was with him. God was with him because the way it looked, nobody should have made it out of that car. Nobody. The car was um, completely total. Um, half the engine inside the car and just, um, you know, it's a miracle. He's a walking miracle. That's right. And 24 hours after the accident, Jerron's vision did return. He says he's seeing an eye specialist and his dad says that he should be back on the football field soon. Portsmouth police say they are still investigating the hit and run. Margaret Cavanaugh, News 3.